Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In your box of parts, you'll find this transition section here. And in this section, we need to remove this plastic sprue from inside. And it's pretty delicate at the corners where it is attached. And I just wanted to show you my technique for removing it. Um, so I'll take my hobby blade and I'll come in from the inside and then snap it off. But I want to stay away from those sharp pointy parts of the transition. And I'll, I'll shave those off in a, in a minute. First I want to remove the big part. Like that. Okay, so on those tips, you want to put your finger behind it to kind of support it, and then get in there with your knife and then just shave it off. And there's only four of them, so it doesn't take long. Okay, and then find the short cylinder that this will fit into, and there's only one cylinder in the kit that it will fit into, and that's the one you're going to need for this next step when you're assembling the engine mount. video we're going to start assembling the engine mount and from your box of parts get the 29 millimeter engine mount tube which is this one right here uh, you'll also need this ring from the sheet 32538 and this is the ring that fits inside of this tube the one that the transition fits on these other two rings are a little bit smaller, um, so they'll be really sloppy. This one will be a nice snug fit. So go ahead and remove that one from the die cut sheet, or not the die cut sheet, it's the laser cut sheet. Um, then you want to get these two little assemblies that we did previously and on your body tube we need to mark both ends because uh, that's where these little rings are going to go. Um, one of them, and this will be the back end, this one will be 17 30 seconds which is just a little bit longer than a half of an inch. Um, if you're using metric it's about 13 and a half millimeters. It doesn't need to be exact. Um, this is where the, the uh, this ring is going to be positioned like right there. And on the other end we want two and one quarter inches and in metric that's about 57 millimeters. Okay. So these rings, one of them is going to go right here, and it's going to be just behind the line. And this other one, this is the rear, or this is the rear, and it will be right there. Okay. So for this, I'm going to use wood glue. Just wait for the wood glue to come down to the bottom. Smear it around there. Have a paper towel handy, as always. I'm going to slide this ring here, and I want to make sure that it's just on the 
forward of that line and I'm going to smash this up into it there like that this one right here do the same thing and then take a q-tip and put fillets on these right here I don't want to put any glue here because we're going to align the tubes here and they have to be nice and flush um, we'll just smooth these out Okay, and then I'm going to just sit and allow this to dry. Make sure that this is nice and straight and up against that tube it, it should be. And if there's any glue on the outside, you can just smooth that out too. This is just cosmetic. Okay, now that the glue is dry, we're going to start putting the fuel tank tubes on here. Uh, you're going to need an angle of some sort. I use an aluminum one. Um, the Estes Ultimate Tube Marking Guide works as well. Um, first you want to draw a line on here. And this is so that we can start putting the tubes on. Um, now you're going to inspect your tubes and you want to put the prettiest side outward and that's going to go for all the tubes so if you have a blemish on your tube like I have here on this one I'm going to put that on the back side so that you can't see it so uh, what I really want to show you is that you can hide your mistakes and if you make a mistake building the rocket it can be overcome so don't worry hopefully that will give you a little bit more confidence um, so you're going to lay the channel like this and then you're going to stick your tube into it and we're going to butt the tube right up against the edge so that we know it's perfectly straight um, so i'm going to put some glue and this i'm using thick super glue thick ca glue and then find the side that you want to hide And put that in there like that and then you're going to hold it um, and make sure here on this end I can't move my hands because I'm holding it that the two butts right up against that centering ring because that's going to be important and we want them all aligned on the rocket and if you do want to use some accelerator um, you got to be careful not to move things around so there things are shifting on me and I got some spray accelerator. Just gonna spray just a little bit in there. Okay. And then we'll take our next tube, and this one's gonna be white. And until the glue is really hard, just be very careful. And wipe these off. And this one will go right next to it just like that and I'm just going to mark it right here so that I know where my glue is going to go oops things are falling off the table so I've got some accelerator there and I want to wipe that off because I'm going to put glue right on it and I don't want it kicking too fast And the tubes butt up against each other, so you don't have to worry about spacing them up. 
And if you want to check alignment, you can take your transition and carefully slide it over there. tube. This one also has a blemish on it. First I'll put it on here. I'll just mark where the glue is going to go. Okay, so just go ahead and continue to put them around the tube, and when I get them done, I'll, I'll come right back. Okay, our fuel tanks are now assembled and we'll set this aside to dry. Um, and there's other parts of the rocket you can go ahead and start building now. Since this rocket is done in stages um, and painted in stages, uh, you can either start the second stage or you can start the fin unit or you can even start the upper part of the rocket. So you can kind of build this rocket while you're waiting for things to dry, building other parts of the rocket and that makes the assembly go a little bit quicker. Thank you.